Hey guys, Hunter Tom here. So today we're doing a review on the Daisy uh, Grizzly. Uh, this is a 4.5 millimeter shooting uh, BB gun. It also shoots 0.177 caliber uh, pellets in this little slot here. So it's, uh, it's a pretty nice gun. It comes with a scope, as you can see here, and it'll go up on top of the rail. I'm doing a re-review, by the way, because uh, last review uh, I heard I got lots of comments saying that uh, they didn't think I did a good a review on it. But, uh, so anyways, yeah, there's a hopper here where you can load in your BBs and there is a uh, optical red, like, iron sight, which helps you see uh, in the dark. And uh, this gun shoots about 350 feet per second and uh, we'll take a couple shots and I'll talk more about this gun. And, let's see if he's on. So now guys I'm going to be, uh, I won't be shooting with the scope, but I'll be shooting from a distance of about 10 meters and uh, I've got the 4x15 uh, scope with me but it's a really cheap scope and I won't be using it. Uh, it's a daisy scope if you didn't know. So I prefer using this fiber optic scope. Uh, it's really good for when you're hunting, um, when you're in dense bush and stuff and you have a background that you can't really see because it's a bunch of foliage and leaves. Uh, it's nice to have a nice red scope and if you're out at night it's also even better. Uh, you could probably go and uh, sh uh, shoot bullfrogs with this or uh, chipmunks if you're lucky. You have to aim for the eyes though, uh, you got to go into the vital areas. But anyways, we'll take a shot from about 10 meters. So that went through the can as usual. Um, yeah, let me just take another shot. Oh, I missed. So this is a uh, gun is usually good for, uh, I'd say about um, 4 to... Uh, tw about 24 meters, 25 meters. I wouldn't go any further in range, but uh, this it's an um, all metal uh, barrel, plus the, le the lever in here is all metal. You'd see that a piston when you open it. There's a small, small gap for air to come in. It's got plastic, synthetic camo. Uh, I think it's uh, real tree camo, I'm not too sure. But uh, it's, it's a really lightweight gun. Uh, it's, I'd say it's less, it's not even a pound. Um, so yeah, what I do, you can look, you, I just open the, uh, pull the thing back and the BB falls in. You could also put a pellet in if you want. Um, yeah, it's got adjustable front sights, kind of like the Red Rider. Uh, about the same thing really, uh, just for leverage. But uh, yeah, it's a really, really nice gun. As usual, I'll have a link in the description um, if you want to buy this gun. I'll keep on shooting in this video, but if you want to buy this gun, uh, I have a link in the description uh, for the Canadian store and the American store. I'll go online and I'll find the best price, and whichever store has the best price, I'll leave the link in the description. But for right now, I'll probably have the Amazon price in, um, the Amazon link, but I'll, g I'll get the link for uh, um, the other stores if I find a better price. So yeah, uh, in a week or so, I should have a um, a better price in the link so I'll keep on shooting so the action of this you basically just pull this lever back then you push this forward it'll snap snap into place and you pump it once then you take your shot so if you want to load a pellet in here what I do is aim down so all the BBs can go down and you, you crank this back because basically when you load in the BBs it goes into this hole and uh, there's a big hopper inside here so if you don't want to put a BB in here, you take your pellet and there's a little slot kind of that goes into here. You try to line your pellet and slide it in. If you can't, if you can see that, it should be good. That'll slide in. There's a magnet on the end of the firing, uh, I guess you call it a pin. You close it up like that and you just, same thing as BB, you give it a pump. It's a one pump gun. Um, so yeah, we'll keep on shooting. Give you time, go. Alright guys, so I'm going to shoot about 5 shots and uh, I'll do it super quick so you can see how fast you can shoot. Ready? 3, 2, 1.
Yeah, that's a bit more than five shots. Um, this gun, you can shoot quite a few shots with this, and uh, it's just a really, really nice gun. So, like I said, uh, if, like I mean, if you're a kid and you just want to start off shooting air guns, this is a really nice gun to shoot, uh, just to get started with. Really, you can't go wrong with it. It's just a really, really nice gun. Like I said, I'll have the link in the description to get this in the cheapest spot you can. Uh, the only thing I don't like about this gun, this is really the cons of it, is that the rail is a bit cheap. Uh, like it's plastic, and if this was a metal rail, uh, you could put like I've tried putting other scopes on, but it chips the plastic. That's why you see glue on the side. But the Daisy Grizzly is just a really nice gun. Um, like I said, if you guys have any questions, uh, just leave them in the comments below. And uh, it's got a nice grip to it. It's a nice uh, camo. Uh, you could probably go easily hunting with this. Uh, I wouldn't go after any like squirrels. I mean, you could try going after squirrels with this, but you got to be a pretty good shot. Um, and I wouldn't go any further than 25 meters away, unless you're doing like some competition shooting and you just want to, you're going to just do some plinking. Uh, I don't know if I'd recommend this using it in the city, but you probably could. Um, depends where you live. But anyways, I'd take this out. It's a good little backpacking gun. It's not, it's not heavy. And if you want to shoot mice or bullfrogs, it's a really good little gun. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. Thanks and bye-bye.